You're watching Hot Ticket, your source for what's happening in Hampton Roads. I'm your host, Sarah Buck. Each year, through a partnership with the Trust for Public Land, Cox Communications honors three outstanding volunteers who are doing their part to support a healthier environment. Today, I'm excited to introduce to you our finalist for Hampton Roads, Bonnie Kirsta. Bonnie, welcome. Thank you very much, Sarah. I'm so excited to have you here today and to talk about all the great work that you're doing with Chesapeake Bay Foundation. Why don't you give me a, a, some highlights of what you do with your volunteer efforts there? Uh, my main effort is with um, oyster restoration. Uh, oysters are a vital, vital component of a clean bay. A uh, mature oyster, which is a year old, can fi filter up to 50 gallons of water a day under uh, good conditions that is 45 degrees of temperature in the water or higher. So that's my main focus. I also do something called grasses for the masses, where we grow underwater grasses and then plant them in different sites and some of the rivers. They provide underwater habitat for small critters, babies that are growing, mm -hmm. and uh, that's a lot of fun. I also do advocacy. Mm -hmm. I go out and I speak to groups. I send letters to the editor, uh, letters to my, my representatives, and I educate. I speak to children's groups, school groups, and I do training for oyster uh, gardening at uh, some oyster gardening seminars that we have. Now a big part of the education is talking about the watershed. A lot of people think, oh, it's just the rivers and lakes around the area that are impacting the bay, but tell our viewers really what the watershed oh. is like. Oh wow, the watershed is actually, the Chesapeake Bay watershed is the largest land to water ratio in the world. The uh, watershed comprises the Susquehanna River, which starts all the way in upstate New York, which a lot yeah, of people who knew don't that, know. Right? Who knows that? <laughs> Comes through New York State, down through Pennsylvania. We have the Potomac, which is origins are in West Virginia, and then we have the uh, Rappahannock River, the York River, the James River, those tributaries, plus the whole Eastern Shore, which is parts of Maryland and Delaware as well. So you've got several states that are involved here in the watershed, and this all this water emptying into the Chesapeake Bay. So that is what the watershed is. It's just not right here. Yeah, and lots of farmland. Lots of farmland in, in Western uh, Virginia, up in Pennsylvania, New York State, a lot, a lot of farmland. Some of those people have never been to the Chesapeake Bay and uh, vice versa. Some of our people that live on the water have never been to the farmland. And it, it sounds inconceivable sometimes, but when you think about it, um, it, it really isn't. So. Yeah. Well, you know, with the Cox Conserves Heroes program, you have an opportunity to drum up votes and win $10,000 for Chesapeake Bay Foundation. What would that money mean for the oyster restoration efforts and really everything that the, the CBF does? Um, CBF is basically volunteer driven. We mm -hmm. do have paid staff, but we go out. I'm a volunteer mm -hmm. and we're, we're, we're the, the muscle behind all of this. Everything that we do with oyster restoration pretty much in the Hampton Roads area is based on volunteers. We have two full-time paid staff members that are just involved in the oyster restoration. The rest of it is all volunteers. Uh, equipment, you know, of course, is expensive. We, we build our own equipment and that sort of thing. So the money would be really great for providing um, you know, more equipment possibly, um, buying more oysters because we do have to buy the oyster seed. We cannot raise it ourselves. Mm -hmm. But the money would just put so much back into our programs where we, we ask for donations all the time, but sometimes we just don't make our goals. And yeah. that amount of money would just be amazing for our programs. Yeah, well the work you're doing is fantastic. We really hope that um, come the end of June we'll be able to crown you our winner, oh, but we need, your, we need your votes. So um, please remember to vote for Bonnie, vote for the Chesapeake Bay Foundation, vote for a cleaner waterway uh, when you vote for Bonnie. You can do that by visiting www.coxconservesheroes.com slash Virginia. Thanks for watching. For Hot Ticket, I'm Sarah Buck.